This morning, I will speak on what I titled, Believe in Your Process. Believing in your process. Believing in your process. Believing in your process. Second Kings chapter 5 and in verse 10. Second Kings chapter 5 and in verse 10. Thank you, Jesus. Believing in your process. Second Kings chapter 5 and in verse 10. I want you to try and do something. After today, when you get to Dolorama, get a notebook, a jotter. When messages like this is going on, be taking notes. Very, very, very important. Remember I said something about it last week. Very, very important. You might need that note and that verse of the Bible later. 2 Kings 5 verse 10. Let's read it together one to go. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Can you re-echo this thing to your neighbor? Tell your neighbor, life is a process. I'm going to try to be very brief. But I'm trying to I'm believing that God will use this message to motivate somebody, to provoke somebody to action, to make somebody wake up to the reality you need for your next level. I know we live in a generation of fast food. Everything in this generation is fast. Fast, fast, fast. Even if you, even when you want to get a job, they will tell you fast pace. Everything is fast, fast, and fast. It, I'm not against fast. I'm not against speed. I'm not against quick. But this generation has lost a sense of of value for process. Are we together here now? Because we live in a very fast-paced world, things get done very, very quickly. Many people have lost sight of details. Are you getting my point? Are we together now? Food don't taste the way they taste before. I have to be careful here now because the way some women are looking at me now. <laughs> don't go there. Don't go there. I walk and my husband walk. So we have to just eat burger or just eat sandwich. That's okay. In this generation, we complain that people we have that people have different kind of sicknesses, illnesses that you know diseases that nobody knows their name in time past is existing today. But everything, every process that we avoid or try to ignore creates a monster. That we need or we have to live with. Are we together? Follow me gradually. Nobody is ready to endure anything these days. I was talking with some young people. Some weeks back. And I tried to get a consensus of how many of them can, you know, they are ready to really endure. And about 95% of them said, Sir, I am not ready to suffer with any guy. If you are not 
If you don't have where you are going and you are not in the, on the right track, I'm not cut out for that nonsense. <laughs> what, I said, what do you mean by right track and all that? He said, you must have been made. Who makes them? The person you want to be made before, before you now connect. Who makes that person? Every man is a product of a process. Can you pick up a piece of paper on the floor inside this church just to keep it clean? That might just be one of the process that you need for where you are going to. Greatness is in little, little details of our life. I don't know whether you are getting me, but may the Lord help you to catch what I'm talking about. Greatness is in the what? In the little, little details of our life. The day that your mom said, go, please help me clean up that your, your, your younger brother, your younger sister. Please do this. The day your dad, the day your spouse said, do this. That thing that they're asking you to do that you are so not happy with might be the process you need for your future or for your next level. Are we together now? Are you getting what I'm talking about? A great person doesn't look at whose work it is. And mommy, I'm not, it's not my turn to wash plate today. It's this person's turn. The person that is his turn to wash plate is not around. So a great person, a great man, a great woman does not wait. Oh, it's not my turn. It's that person's turn. That person should do it. You don't do that. that that's not part of their vocabulary. They become the doer of the work themselves. They become the person that will do it. They make themselves available for every work. A responsible person is ready to do any work. Somebody say any work. Say any work. Now the place we read from the Bible, I have read this place many times. Yesterday, the Lord began to open my eyes into it. The prophet said to Naaman, you have leprosy. He sent his servant to him and said, go to River Jordan and dip yourself. How many times? He said to him, go to the River Jordan. Dip yourself. How many times? Seven times. That suggests to me, everybody look at me now. That suggests to me that you will have to go past one. Somebody say process. Two. Say process. Three. Say process. Four. Now, there is the probability that he could have gotten fed up and tired at the second dip. Or the third one. Or the fourth one. Are we together here now? Or the fifth one. But the process for him was you have to go past six to get to seven. And the seventh process, the seventh must be completed for the miracle you seek to happen. Somebody say process. A great man cannot miss responsibility. Listen, I will explain this to you. Everything you will ever go through in life is part of the package of God to take you to where he wants you to get to. Everything. Somebody say, including the, 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 the spanking and the slap, yes. Including the hunger, oh yes. Yeah including the irrelevant, the insult and the insult I was given. Oh, yes. Welcome to the game. Oh, yes. 
Someone said, are you saying including the delay? I should have been married. All my friends, everybody have married. Yeah, it is part of it. How will your news make wave when it, when, when you have not gotten through the same process that God wants you to go through? It's part of it. It's part of it. There are many things. Listen, can I, can I, can I just be honest with somebody here? Listen, the thing you are running away from is the process God is taking you through. Oh, God. Maybe you don't like this message, but I'm telling you what God asked me to tell you this morning. The thing that you are running away from is supposed to teach you patience. It's supposed to teach you and train you endurance. It's supposed to teach you how to remain quiet even though you are in pain. It's a process. It's a process. When you are about to explode and say, look, everybody take time or I will kill somebody. And God is like, shh. You need to put them, you need to use this, uh, what do you call it, the tester? You, you know, just put it just to test. What do you call it in uh, your profession? Electrical uh, tester. You put it just to check. A meter. Yeah. You need to put meter in some people's body. You know, you know, in Nigeria we have, is it 220 votes? 220? Some people, 5,000. 5, some people you need to put the te- put the, the stuff T- stethoscope you call it uh, test it you check their temperature can can kill ten people and you are saying that this is part of the process yes 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 if you go to any great company for example and you meet maybe you see, maybe a store manager, supervisor, or any of the leader there. Maybe team lead. Any of them you see in that place. If they are working, for example, working on the pathway and they see a piece of paper, what will they do? They will pick it up. And what do they do with the paper? If they are not close to where the trash can is, they put it in their pocket. <laughs> and that is the manager and that is the leader and then you see somebody who is just a staff put two hands and he step he take leg across it and he walk back listen there is something that make him a manager those are the things the little little things that you call nonsense that you call trash that you cannot bend down to do but he bend down to do it responsibility has made him or her responsible promotion comes to those who are ready to go through the process are, are you listening to me this morning this is what we need to teach our children this look you have we have made life so so unfair to the children to the next generation you know why because what we went through, we thought those, same, th- that, those things will kill them. The things that didn't kill us but trained us and made us strong, we are hiding it from them. And now we are creating a generation that has no backbone. A generation that just, they say, it's finished, it's over, we are gone. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. Have you heard? I can't take this anymore. You are hurting my feelings. You hurt my feelings. They hurt your feelings? And they didn't send you to the farm? Oh, you didn't trek mice to go and get water from the stream and they are hurting your feelings just like this? Oh, what a feeling. What a feeling. <laughs> what a feeling. process. Great people don't wait for, oh, it is not my job. It is the job of the housekeeper. It is the job of the cleaner. It is, no, they don't wait. They do it. They do what? They do it. Greatness does not look like greatness at the beginning. Are we together? Don't. Oh, you need to come and ask me. Or currently, you need to come and ask our daddy here. When God said to me, leave, leave uh, Nigeria, come to Canada. I came here. 
I was here. I came to this place. There, okay, we are going to start. We started the ministry, and we're like, one day my wife asked me, "What are we looking for?" <laughs> hey. You know when you just look at, oh, wonderful woman of God, woman of God. Everybody wants to be woman of God, woman of God. Listen, no. Huh. Uh, may God make you understand. Everybody cannot be a pastor's wife. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Everybody cannot be a pastor's wife. When you see a great person, please, don't, don't be looking at that person there. He's on top. Please. Try to see the ladder he climbed. That is the process to get there. Nobody fly up. Nobody jump up. If you jump up, you will come down. It's a law. Is it not law? It's a scientific law of gravity. When you jump up, you, you throw up, you come down. But when people grow up, they stay up. Growth is a process. Growth is a process. Look at our wonderful sister. The way she has grown up, she's singing now. And the dad and the mom, they are just looking at her. Hmm. Sometime, few years ago, she was a tiny little baby in their hand. She has gone through the process. They are the process. Oh God, you did not get what I'm talking about. She went through a process. Am I, am I correct? She can say, oh, when I was a baby, when I was this, when I was a, a, a teenager, when I was this. But they are the process she went through. There are stories about her life she, can, she doesn't even know. They will tell her when you were like this. Now, wait until sometime very soon in the future and she gets married and they become grandparents. And she's like, this your grandchildren doesn't listen to, to, to anything. They will remind her something. And say, come. <laughs> you said they are not listening to you. <laughs> okay, we will play your, your video so that you see yourself. It's a process. It's what? It's a process. Look at your neighbor. Say, believe in your process. In your process. Don't give up in your process. Don't give up, Don't give up on your process. Don't give up. Believe in your process. You never find gold on the surface. Go everywhere in the world. Gold is deep, deep, deep down. And you dig, and you dig, and you dig. When you are giving, listen, the person who hit a gold mine, so many people gave up. He was the one that didn't give up. Greatness is an attitude. That's the long and short of what I'm telling you. Greatness is what? It's an attitude. Laziness is also an attitude. Okay. Hard work is an attitude. It's an attitude. Listen, can I make this? <laughs> Let me make this statement. Comfort is a killer when it comes to early. <clears throat> Do you agree with what I'm talking about? Comfort is a killer when it comes to early. You don't need comfort. What you need is inconvenience in order to get convenience. There is no solution without a problem. There is no miracle without obstacle. That's the way it is. Stop running away from, from your problems. A great person, and somebody who wants to be great, must be ready to face the, the Goliath. You must face it. Those who say, if I perish, I perish, never perish. Do you know what God told me some time ago? And I put it here. Sometimes, you will need God or the devil to trouble your water in order for that water to be for miracle, for healing. The Bible says, angel will come once every year and trouble the water. Do you remember that story? It was the angel that is troubling that one. Sometimes God will allow you to go through stuff in order for you to become something. We have our brother here, Bro Allen. Stabbed how many times? 30 times. 
stabbed 30 times, spent six months in the intensive care unit. I see you. I met him in my classroom at the U of M. Today is here. And he has testimonies. Very soon, he was supposed to give, share his story today. But very soon we will share his story. Look, this life. <laughs> you must believe in your process. God will have to take you to some places in order, in order for him to bring you to where he wants you to be. It will not kill you. Look at that. He said, go and dip yourself seven times. Your own number is seven. Go dip yourself. When I was growing up, many of the most effective medicine were very bitter. Especially that one they give you every Sunday. Ah, God, have mercy on my daddy. And he would say, line up. Everybody line up. I will have Gary in my hand. Because immediately he touched my tongue, I must put Gary. Just to endure the bitterness. But that is what you need. Have you ever, especially those queen family, all those queen, may God forgive the queen. I don't know who made them queen. Anybody who made those queen queens? Ah. They will kill you first before they make you. Break your body, break everything. I think, God, I was sick before I know. But this one, I took medicine. Niva Queen. God forgive that person who created, who made that Niva Queen. Niva Queen, Chloro Queen, Camo Queen. All those, look at their names. Queen, 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 Queen. But by the time they are done, by the time they finish work, when you are standing, you, are, you know you are standing. You know you are well. But the process to get there was not easy. A great person says, everybody's job is my job. Nobody's job is also my personal job. That's a great person. That's a great person. That's a great person. They don't tell me before I sweep the house. They don't tell me before, be, before I clean the instrument. No. They don't tell me before I do this. No. A great person says, yes, it's my job. Nobody's doing it. Then it's waiting for me to do. That's a great person. Not dodging responsibility. No, no, no. No, 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 no. A journalist asked Thomas Edison, the one who invented the filament bulbs, he said, we were told you failed 1,000 times before this breakthrough. He responded and said, no. I only learned 1,000 ways it will not work. The founder of 7up Company, the one who started 7up Company, Charles Lispage, Greek, in 1920, Many people just drink things. You don't know where. You <laughs> just drink. The man, Charles, said, the first attempt failed. The second attempt, he failed. The third one, he failed. The fourth one, he failed. The seventh one, I mean the fifth one, he failed. The sixth one, he failed. The seventh one, he made it. When he tasted the drink, he did this. That's where seven up came from. He did this. Yes. This is it. This is it. This is the taste I've been looking for. This is the exact taste I've been looking for. <laughs> you, you are saying that enough is enough. I'm done. I'm tired. I can't take it anymore. You will still take some more. Mm, you will still take some more. That is how this life runs. That is how this life works. You will still take some more. How I wish you know the food you eat and you lick your fingers. I wish you know the process that the food had to go through to become what is edible and eatable. God. 
God gave Naaman seven times. He said, Naaman, I can heal you once. Oh. Can God not heal him once? God can heal him once now. Hello, hello. Can God not say, Naaman, be cleansed. Just saying it. And he will be cleansed. But God took him through process. He took him through process. In 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 3 to 10, there was a story of four lepers at the gate of Samaria. They looked, they, there was hunger in the town. There was famine everywhere. And they said to themselves, if we stay in the city, we will die. But uh, that is the camp of the enemy. He said, yes. Okay. In that place, they are eating food. He said, yes, they are eating food. Okay. Let us go. It is better to die trying than to die doing nothing. I don't know whether you get what I just said. It is better to do what? Than to die doing nothing. When the Lord gave us the vision to start Mission House, one day my daddy called me and said, he made a statement, I can never forget it. He said, shoot at the sun. If you don't get it, you will land on the moon. And in paradventure, you could not, you did not even get to the moon you will land, you will hang on one of the stars. At least you are still up. Chai! I said, man, that was what I needed. That was all I needed. That was the fire I needed to, come, to just keep going. So somebody will ask me, Apostle, why is it you keep trying, you keep doing this, you keep doing, you are not, not I, I'm still shooting. <laughs> I'm still aiming at the sun. I'm not going to fold my hand. I'm still shooting. Those who bounce back are never at the back. Never reject process. Never what? Ministry survives on process. Church greatness survives on process. The time for process is not the time for recess. Ah, you get what I'm talking about. Stop saying Eureka when it is time for you to still be on your knicker. Stop. Keep on. Get your hands dirty. Keep doing it. Keep working. Keep laboring. One day, you will hit your good mind. And, that would, and people will be asking you, how did you make it up? Listen, many people who succeeded at something failed at many things before they succeeded at that one thing. And those who are succeeding at one thing failed in that same thing before they finally succeeded in it. Don't throw in the towel. Stand. Be like Hulk Hogan in wrestling, WrestleMania. You beat Okogan, you know Arthur not they die for fame. <laughs> now body they pay now. <laughs> beat Okogan, Okogan, knock him down, throw him into the crowd, anyhow, whatever you do to him, and then fall on him, let the, the referee with it, one, two, he will get up. And then you hit him again. Go out on the floor. The referee will hit one, two. The third one, he will get up and do like this. And you give him again. Go out. He will do like this. Give him another one. He will stand up and start jerking. Start jerking. And the whole place is, is agog. He give him another heavy one. Go out like this. He will look at you and point and say... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This referee will not count theory. You will become great. Keep at your process. Anybody that is laughing at you, let them laugh. Anybody talking, let them talk. Is their mouth? Are you get what I'm saying? Is their mouth 
continue your process, you will arrive soon. After all said and done, it is who laughs last that laughs best. Those who sleep too much sleep away too cheaply. Wake up to your process. I have never seen someone who slept and became a millionaire. Wake up to the process. And for some people, if sleeping was a competition, they would be gold medalists. Please, there is no Olympics for sleeping. Wake up. Do what? Wake up. Marital success is a process. Academic success is a process. Somebody must burn the midnight candle. Somebody must wake up. Somebody must read. Somebody must do something. Life greatness is a process. Every greatness is a process. Your healing is a process. Oh God, open my eyes to know what I must do to get to where I need to get to. Stand up to your feet. Can you tell your neighbor this? Say your pain can be your process. Say your faith can be born out of your fear. Say your wealth can be hidden inside your leftovers. Say your prosperity can be tied to your brokenness. Listen to me. Many people never see God until they see hard life. Until they see difficult times. Even your prayer life is a process. It's a process. Because you have to wake up to, to pray and to develop and build your prayer life. Your coming to church early may be inconvenience now. How can I go to church early? It's too early. It's too early. It may be inconveniencing you now. But it's a process. It may be the process you need for where you are going to. I'm telling you. I think mommy was telling me the other day. And she was like, I like, she was like, oh, when I was in Nigeria, I wake up by five and I get ready, prepare my children and then I go to work. Because I was worried, how are you going to be able to, 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 to meet up this time? Oh. She, she never knew that when she was there, God was preparing her for Canada. Because in Canada, they don't sleep. Sorry, if you are sleeping, you are out so In Canada here, it is work or the Even when you are sleeping sometimes, you are still working. <laughs> you are working. Somehow. Your generosity may be the process that you need for your open doors. But you say, no, 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 no. How can I give that money? How can I give? No, 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 no. It's too much. It's too much. I can't give it now. How can I let go of that amount of money? No. That may be the, what you need. Abraham, give me your son. Give me. Give me that your son. And I will make you father of many nations. Ah, God. This is too late. Oh. I'm already 100 years old. He said, give me. Go and look for somebody that looks like a suspect in this church now. And go and hold his, his or her hand. Someone that looks like a suspected millionaire. Now, I finished I finish the sentence now. Now you are smiling. <laughs> now you are smiling. Go and meet somebody that looks like a suspected millionaire. Not three, oh, not three, two, 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 two. Suspected millionaire. You know what you are going to do for me? Look at that person. Say, I'm holding your hand now. Because I want you to know me very well. Because I know very soon. This process you are going through we produce your millions. We produce your breakthrough. 
Don't forget me, oh! Let us pray. Let us pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not that later now you are now riding your fine car and I go there. You know, if you drive past me, I will puncture your tire. Oh. <laughs> yes, you remember today that I told you that it was a process. It was a process. When you start moving from one Omugo to another Omugo, from one, one country to another country, and then your children are buying you the latest car, not to Tokumbo, but Toumbo. Tier rubber. Yes, so not, 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 uh, not cash, not balance. <laughs> not balance and carry. By the time they are now you finish balancing it, the thing is already condemned. There are, in Canada, you have many balance, but the carry is not carryable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. It's a process. It's a process. Amy, it's a process. It's a process. Every trekker, every house owner was once a trekker. Every, every car owner was once a trekker. Every house owner was once a tenant. It's a process. Is what? You get there. You get there. You see music school. You see music school today. That person who owns that music school, and everybody is talking about it today. Sometime he was going from house to house. It's a process. It's what? It's a process. Somebody owns his own franchise today, and you are wondering, hey, how did this person have this franchise? Some time ago, it was not like that. It's a process. Don't kill yourself in your process. Go through the valley of the shadow. Don't build a house in the valley. Go through it. At the end, at the end, at the end, at the end, it shall speak. The vision is for an appointed time. At the end, it shall speak. At the end, at the end, at the end, at the end, it shall speak. It will not tarry. 